What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching episode three of season one of The Walking Dead today. Um, I've been really enjoying this series as you guys can tell with my reactions and I hope you guys have been enjoying them. Thank you guys for all your support on these videos. And if you guys are interested in getting my full uncut reaction to each of these episodes, you guys can check out my Patreon down in the description below. And if you guys are interested in becoming a member on this channel, that will be down there as well. And without further ado, let's hop into episode three. We're back with Morrow. I honestly right. thought he was going to die was being stuck on the roof there. Oh, well. <laughs> I think he's going crazy. He's going <laughs> cuckoo. I do remember um, they did lock the door that went to the roof, so that's probably why the zombies haven't been able to get to him. I think he just snapped out of whatever he was thinking about, and now he just realized again he's stuck there. Can rip off his hand. <laughs> Zombies will help you. <laughs> I know. I know I'm being punished. I know. Show me the way. This would be horrible though if you were in this position. I Wait, what's he trying? Oh, is that the saw? Okay. He's trying to grab the saw, I can see that. Either like break the uh, handcuffs. I might get out of it. I, I kind of feel bad for him, you know, still. But again, That's though, he would have problem. caused problems for him. Marl getting left behind. Nobody's going to be sad he didn't come back. Daryl? His brother. You hear the car. <laughs> he sure does love that car. I feel like that was almost like foreshadowing, though, that he's going to come back. Just because they were talking about, you know. Wishing for one of your mama's haircuts. So are they then coming that back here, that group, since they were originally what, with this group? I've caught a frog before. I said frogs, plural. And it is an art, my Wait, friend. It is not to be called, taken lightly. Tell it to the frogs. There are. Hey, you're the car. Talk to me, Dale. I tell you. Oh, they're almost here then. <laughs> I'll be damned. Gosh, she loves Stolen that car. Cars. Holy crap, turn that damn thing off! Damn, oh, please. They're just all yelling at him right when he gets here. Got a cool car. <laughs> oh, here comes Rick. Come meet everybody. Amy. <laughs> Andrea. Wait, they're just gonna walk away? I told you I'd be back, didn't I? They don't, I mean, I know they don't know Rick's in there, but like, they need to stay for a second. How'd y'all get out of there anyway? New guy. Got us out. <laughs> the new yeah. guy. Yeah. Crazy oh. just got into town. He's gonna be like, who's the hey, new guy? Boy. The new guy is Rick. <laughs> yeah, look at his face. He's like, wait, what? Oh, and now she's like <laughs> shocked too. Yeah. Carl's happy though. <laughs> I feel like I mean she she's happy to see him, but I feel like she doesn't know what to think because she was just, you know, kind of doing stuff with Shane. Now he's uncomfortable. So oh yeah, <laughs> he's not happy. I guess that comes from <laughs> trapped in some coma dream, something I might not wake up from ever. She had every reason to believe that. Don't you ever doubt it. And from the look of that hospital, it got overrun. It looks don't deceive. I barely got them out. I feel yeah. like eventually he's gonna find out, but love? he ain't gonna like Come Shane on, after man. that, probably. Keep our fires low, just Ember, so we can't be seen from a distance, right? I said it's cold. Just mind your own business for once. You don't like that. Go on. Pull the damn thing out. Go on. Appreciate the cooperation. Have you given any thought to Daryl Dixon? He won't be happy to hear his brother was left behind. Your husband did what was necessary. And if Merle got left behind, it is nobody's fault. That's what I'm saying. And that's what we tell Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> I was scared. And I ran. I'm not ashamed of it. We were all scared. We all ran. Ain't one time. It's not enough to break through there. Not that chain. Not, not that padlock. I don't know. The zombies are... Point. They're kind of getting close. That's on us. To maybe breaking it, though. I don't know. I love you, Carl. I'm glad that Rick and Carl are back together, though. It's just weird with the, with his wife now. It's just like, is she going to eventually tell him? Or what? I don't know. 
I'm just trying to think. What would you do? Like, would you? Because then that's going to stir up trouble. You know that is. Wait, I did know Carl would. know that he, like yeah, um, know. Lori okay. and Shane were doing stuff? I, don't know. I, I can't know. remember if he caught them kissing that time. I think he did. I knew you were alive. Well, for him, <laughs> he kept hope that they were alive. But she assumed he was just dead. <laughs> oh, there's that picture. When you were in the hospital, I just I want to take it all back. The anger and the and the bad times. But... I wondered where that went. Well, here we go. Hey, this is nothing compared to Game of Thrones. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know she feels bad inside. He's probably just mad. He started to like Lori. I'm gonna have to learn some of their names because I totally forgot Look like all of them basically. Sorry, Glenn. Oh yeah, that, that's Glenn. To try at least a few more days. I was gonna say he I really like him. We'll He's funny. Once. Totally forgot what their names are again. Okay. I know they're sisters, but I didn't want to wake you. I figured you could use God what? You're thinking. About the man we left behind? I'm not serious. It's Tom. Does he want to like go back and save him? Are you asking me or telling me? Asking. Well, I think it's crazy. Tom! Carl! Uh oh. What's going Carl! on? Baby! Ugh. I feel bad for the deer. He's getting. Oh my god! He's getting ate up by the freaking walker. Damn, somebody gonna do something? <laughs> It's Rick gonna have to do it. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Jeez. Well, they're running out of food in the city, that's what. Or they heard that car. Is there more? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought something was gonna pop out, man. I was, I was trying to get prepared for a jump scare or something. Motherless, toxic bastard! I'm down, son. That's, you take that stupid hat and go who back to the pond. Who is this? Oh, is this Merle's brother? Is I think that's who it is. Oh, God. Come on, people. What the hell? It's got to be the brain. I can kind of tell it's Merle's brother just by his personality so far. Merle! Somebody's going to have to tell here. him. About Merle? There's a, uh, there's a problem in Atlanta. You dead? Yeah, there is or he ain't. No easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. Who are you? <laughs> Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes? So I handcuffed him on a roof, hooked him to a piece of metal. Let me process this. <laughs> so to say, he just so told me. You handcuffed my brother to a roof? And you left him there? <laughs> hey. Watch the game. Yeah. So Golden's illegal. Hey, fucking fight. <laughs> Come on, man. You think we can manage that? <laughs> It's not Rick's fault. I had the key. I dropped it. Couldn't pick it up? Well, I dropped Don't it in the drain. Yeah. Hell with all y'all. Just tell me where he is. So I can go get him. I'm going back. Oh, okay. That's it, huh? You just gonna walk off? Stay out with everybody else? Could you throw me a bone here, man? Could you just tell me why? Why would you risk your life for a douchebag like Merle Dixon? Hey, choose your words more carefully. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Douchebag's what I meant. We left him like an animal caught in a trap. That's no way for anything to die, let alone a human being. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's like... You know the no. way. You've been there before, innit? it? Well, that's just great. Now you're gonna risk three men, huh? Four. <laughs> My day just gets better and better, don't it? Get out of the cities. They come back. We need every able body we got. We need them here. We need them to protect camp. Guns. Wait, what guns? Six shotguns, two high-powered rifles, over a dozen handguns. I cleaned out the cage back at the station oh, before yeah, I left. Oh, yeah, in his bag. I you just got here, and you're, you're going to turn around and leave? Yep. I, I don't want you to go. Make me understand. I owe a debt to a man <laughs> I met and, and his little boy, the walkie-talkie, the one in the bag I dropped. He's got the other one. Our plan oh, was yeah. to connect when they got closer. Okay. Well, rumor is he yeah, don't go cutters. There, but Laurie ain't gonna like it. 
We'll bring your tools back too. Think of the bolt cutters as an investment. Sounds like more of a gamble. <laughs> what do I get in return? What do you want? How about one of those guns you bring back? My pick. Done. Come on, let's go! Thank you. Hey, Rick. Got any rounds of the python? I hate that you're doing this, man. I think that it's foolish and reckless, but if you're gonna go, you're taking bullets. Four men, four rounds. What are the odds, huh? Let's just hope that four's your lucky number. At least he gave some rounds. So I guess I thought maybe Shane was not gonna really like him being back, but now I feel like he is. I think he just feels uncomfortable now with him and Lori, since he does like her, or sorry to like her. You know, I bet they'll be just fine. I'm not worried. Everything that's happened to him so far. Nothing's killed him yet. <laughs> the geeks can't get at him. Only thing that's gonna get through that door is us. Man, I would not want to go back to this city though. Have you seen Carl? Shane took him down to the quarry. There was some mighty bold talk about catching frogs. <laughs> all right, little man, look. You are the you are the key in all this, okay? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go after one of them, all right? Scare the rest of them off there. Yeah. Give me your mean face. Arr. Yes, sir. Are you ready? Can someone explain to me how the women wound up doing all the head of McDaniel Ward? The world ended. Didn't you get the memo? It's just the way it is. It's not right. Merle first or guns? Merle, we ain't even having this conversation. We are. I miss my vibrator. Oh, God. I have everything. Me too. <laughs> What's so funny? You can already tell this Problem guy's a man? piece of shit. Already can None tell. concerns you. This ain't no comedy club. All right, dude. Maybe you should get to work. Until we can catch frogs. It doesn't matter what Shane says. It matters what I say. Go on. If you don't tell me what to do, you lost that privilege. Hey, Lori, could you just just wait up a sec? I think we should talk. You know, no. we haven't had a no. chance. No, no, that's over, too. You can tell that to the frogs. Lori, look, I don't know how... My husband is back. He is alive. He's my best friend. You are the one that told me that he died. Just one. Ooh. You know, having a crossbow is nice. Doesn't make that much noise. I tell you what. You don't like how your laundry's done? You are welcome to pitch in and do it yourself. Here. Oh! Ain't my job, Missy. I don't think she needs to go anywhere with you, Ed. And I say it's none of your business. Come on now. You come on now, <gasps> or you're gonna regret it later. So she can show up with fresh bruises later, Ed. Yeah, we'd sing them. <laughs> Y'all gonna keep prodding the bull here, okay? Now I'm done. I tell you what! Beat him up. Here we go. He deserved that. Yeah, he probably can stop now, bro. Tom, I will not stop next time. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? <laughs> Are you saying you're sorry? Like, wait, what happened to all the the walkers over there? It's his hand. So he did get loose. Wait, so it was just his hand there, and then the handcuffs. So he cut off his hand to get free. What? Jesus. I mean, that dude's crazy. I mean, that, that doesn't surprise me that he would do something like that, but like, so now I'm kind of confused though. Like, how did he get off the roof? Because he obviously didn't go back through like the main area because that door was still sealed um, with the chain. So, I, I, and where did he go <laughs> Dude, Like, he didn't have anything, so. And him cutting off his hand, he has to be bleeding a lot too, so like, I don't know. I'm sure he's gonna pop up here soon though. So now I guess they kind of wasted their time doing that, but hopefully now they'll be able to find the bag of guns so they can at least make this trip worth it. Definitely that was a crazy episode with um, Rick coming back to the group and you know, seeing how 
Lori responds to that and Shane. I can see this being like an issue with them three because I know Rick doesn't know about, you know, Lori and Shane, you know, doing stuff together, um, at least right now. But just how Lori now responds to Shane, I feel like eventually, you know, Rick is going to find out some way. And yeah, that's just going to cause even more problems. So I'm going to have to wait and see. I'm really not sure what you would do there. Like, say if you were Lori, would you tell Rick or would you keep try to keep it just secret and just wait to see if you can just forget about it? But you can't really forget about it if Shane's still there, you know, so ah. I don't know. What would you guys do if you were like Lori? Like, would you tell Rick that, you know, I thought you were dead, so I started doing stuff with your best friend, Shane? It's just, it's wrong because it's his best friend, too. That's the thing. If it was a random, if it was just somebody that they met afterwards, that'd be one thing. But since it was his best friend, that's just where he's just like, eh. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I'm really enjoying this show. I freaking love this show so far. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.